Hi, I'm Betsy Hill, president of Brainware Learning. But for the purposes of today's conversation, probably the most important thing is that I raised three boys, all of whom had very different experiences in school and very different learning styles, learning uh, profiles. The skills that they used to learn just were very different. So what are you gonna do as a mom if you're having this experience where you start to notice that maybe your child is beginning to struggle in school. Uh, now you may assume that the teachers are already aware of this. You may assume that they've already figured it out and they're gonna just step in and make everything sort of work and, and be better. But the fact of the matter is it's probably you that's gonna notice this the first. And the reason is that, is that your child is gonna come home from school one day and with a little bit of a dejected look on their face or just a little quieter than usual. Or you'll ask them about their day and you just won't get that enthusiastic, oh, I wanna tell you about what happened today. It'll be, oh, it was fine, you know, it was fine. And parents assume, of course, that the teachers know what's going on, but that's not the case. As I said, you're probably gonna be the first one to notice that because there is nobody that knows that child better than you do. And you know, and you can see when they start to lose curiosity, when they start to lose the joy of learning. And that's you know, a problem because then they start to back off. Then instead of being excited and enthusiastic and knowing, it's what we do when we know we struggle with something, you know, we back off. We say, oh, that's, that's, that's hard. I'm not gonna be able to do that. And, but when you know what is causing those learning struggles, that's what it takes. So here's the big secret. Until you know and can figure out what the reasons are, what's going on underneath that learning experience, when you know what that is, then you can understand why it's happening and we can attack it. You're the guardian of your child's learning. You're the one that can help them overcome. You're the one that can help them figure this out. And here's a way to do that. What I'd like to offer is to hop on the phone with you. We can get to the bottom of this. We can understand what the true learning situation is. And we can figure out a plan to help your child overcome their learning struggles and get back to that feeling of joy and success in learning. Let's get on the phone.